everyone, welcome to Weekly Vlog 31. Thank you, Matthew. 31. Um, have you just watched 30, have you? <laughs> Matthew watches all of my vlogs. Basically, it is Tuesday because I was busy yesterday. I was even more busy than usual because I'm trying to set up my business. If this is the first time you've watched me, then I'm launching a jewellery brand on this Friday. So when you watch this, it'll already be up on Etsy, Sally's Potter. Go and check it out. I'm very excited. So... Yeah, um, it's Tuesday, um, just because I was busy yesterday and me and Matthew were in a major rush this morning because I booked us a massage yesterday evening for half ten this morning, just as like a little kind of surprise for Matthew. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was only £9, and um, it was like on offer, we've been here before, it's really nice, it's like a manor house. I tried to like show you some clips and stuff, but we were in such a hurry. Um, we were late we were like five ten minutes late so i didn't have time to vlog before we got here and then it was very quiet in there there's like nobody there hardly it's a very quiet place so i didn't really want to start the vlog in there so we've just had um like a bit of lunch and like after our massage and then just come back to the car um i don't really know what we're doing are we going anywhere we're just we're gonna pop to asda we're gonna pop to asda why i need petrol and i want to get a couple of things for, for lunch all right <laughs> We're going to Asda apparently, so we're going to go to Asda, um, and then yeah, I've got quite a lot to do when we get back home, like business stuff. Um, so yeah, my massage was very nice, although the lady was like really soft with me. You said that your lady was medium to firm, like yeah. basically they ask you when you have a massage, do you want it light, medium or firm? And I, I was like, I don't really know, I've had one before, but I don't think I've been asked mm -hmm. before. I think normally they just do it and they say, is that okay? So I was like, oh, light to medium. And then like, she started doing it and I was like, I think you can do it a little bit harder. And then it was really light still. So I was like, what's firm? Like without trying to be rude. And then um, she was like, I'll do firm and see if you like it. And it was just really light. So I don't feel like I had a proper workout of my back, but it was really, really nice. Um, it was also probably cut short about five minutes because we were late, but that's our fault. But you said that yours was about medium to firm, didn't you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it was really nice and I recommend it here. It's a really nice place. We've been here before for a massage. And there's like a spa and everything as well. Which sometimes they do like spa offers, but we just did the um the massage for nine pound. If you check out the Facebook, they always put on when they have the nine pound offers on. So if you live around here, it's the Manor House Country Club Hotel and Spa, something like that. It's in like West Auckland. So if you're after a cheap massage, check them out. And this is not sponsored, by the way. It just happens to be the fact that we booked a massage here today. But shall we go to Asda? Oh, feel my view! <laughs> <Another pot. Another> <laughs> That's embarrassing, my view. All right, we're gonna go to Asda. <laughs> Get that petrol, Matthew. I like to put Matthew off when he does this because um, me and Matthew have this thing where we like to make sure that we get bang on the amount that we're getting. So if we're getting 20 quid, we have to get 20 quid without any pennies. So I like to try and put him off. So let's watch him <laughs> and see if he gets his exact amount. This is important right now. This is the most intense YouTube footage you'll ever see. 20 pound exactly, can he do it? Oh my god, this is tense. Matthew! See, this is when he starts ignoring me because he knows he has to concentrate because I'll rip him if he goes over. Look, he's looking. Oh! 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 Oh, look at his face! <laughs> Did you get it exactly? Oh, he went over! He went over by a penny! Oh, got it to be you, mate. Gutted. Matthew, you went over. Oh. Now the whole of YouTube has seen you go over by a penny. So you just can't step up, man. Step up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to apologise, but it's actually quite a few hours later. Basically, we didn't actually end up going to Asda, but we did go for petrol, and then we tried to go to like a party supply shop because I want some stuff to put like in the boxes when people buy things um, and time's getting on. It's like Wednesday tomorrow, oh God. So like I've got a lot to do um, still and I've decided the shop is going up on Friday. So yeah, the um, 
we got in about two o'clock. We literally went for petrol. Tried to, oh yeah, that was it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired. We went. To, we tried to go to a party supply shop to get some stuff, and it was shut. But it was meant to be open. And it didn't say on the door why it was closed or anything. It was really annoying because I really needed some things. So we just ended up coming home. It's really bright in here because um, Matthew was going to be going to the gym later on, and I had a lot of stuff to be getting on with with the store, like the Etsy, putting everything on. I got in, made myself a cup of tea, sat on the couch, stuck on a movie. Four movies later, I have just got up off the couch. I have been sat loading my bracelets on my Etsy store all day. There are 19 bracelets on that Etsy store and that's just to start with. That is crazy. I didn't realise I had that much stuff. So yeah, I've literally been doing that all day. My eyes feel crazy from staring at the tablet like all day. But it needed to do and it's a big step forward so I've still got a lot to do on there, I've still got a lot to do and I have loads of other things to do as well like YouTube, like my blog, my Instagram, like I need to make a list and get organised tomorrow but I also have an appointment at the hospital about my ME, I go and see an ME specialist, I also have a doctor's appointment which means basically I'll spend most of the day out and about down like that way at the doctors and stuff so I can't actually get a lot of stuff done tomorrow which is annoying because it leaves me with Thursday and Friday so I have so much to do. I'm kind of panicking. I'm a bit stressed, but it's it's fun because I'm opening my own store and it's really cool to see it all come together. But anyway, that literally meant that I've been doing that all day and I'm sorry if that was boring, but I'm absolutely pooped. So I'm just gonna take my makeup off and get into bed and have an early night because I've got to be out tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow will be productive, even though we've got to go out and I will take you guys with me wherever I go and we will have a good productive day. <laughs> so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Morning guys, it's Tuesday. I'm through at my Nana's house. Um, I've been for a doctor's appointment this morning. It was a really early one. And we're about to take the dogs out and then I have a hospital appointment, so. Me, Auntie Lynn, picked me up this, which is so nice of her. Hi Auntie Lynn, if you're watching, because I know me Auntie watches me vlogs. Um, we'll have a look at it properly when we get home. But basically this is, I mean, I've had it out. This is the Mrs. Potts teapot from Primark. It's so big and lovely, and I'm definitely going to use it as a teapot, but it's so nice, I'm worried about ruining her. But anyway, we're going to take the dogs out now, so I'll show you this properly when I get home. Um, yeah, so we're going to take the dogs out, hospital appointment, and then we'll go back home. Look at this mess! Eee! Hello, I'm home. Eee, look at this mess. Daddy just cleaned you out. You're so naughty. Have you had a nice morning? Mm-hmm. Okay. Woo, lordy. Hey guys, it is Wednesday. So I have spoke to you today, but as I was saying last night, I had a doctor's and a hospital appointment today and I had to go out a lot earlier than I thought. No, I haven't made the bed. No, I haven't got makeup on. And yes, I'm in a dressing gown. This is actually Matthew's dressing gown. I've been wearing it uh, in a lot of vlogs recently. And yeah, it's Matthew's dressing gown. It's just bigger and cozier. And this might sound weird, but it smells like them. So I like it. Anyway, this morning, um, the doctors rang me at like quarter to eight. No, sorry, about 20 to nine. And they were like, oh, your appointment's at nine o'clock now because the doctor's rang in sick. So we're having to fit in everybody's appointment in a smaller time. So I had 20 minutes to get to the doctor's, which you might think, oh, well, that's okay. No, my doctor's is not as close as it should be, which isn't really a major problem. But I just let the rabbit in the garden. I had no makeup on. I was in my pyjamas. I hadn't had my breakfast. I had no petrol. My car didn't work at the minute, so I have to take cash out and then pay for things like that. So I had to go to cash point and then get petrol. Basically, I just had, like, there was rush hour traffic. The schools were, like, going to school at that time and, oh, my Lord. I was like, there is no way I will get to the doctors in 20 minutes. But the alternative was, like, a three-week wait for a doctor's appointment or a four-week wait. Like, it's ridiculous, my doctors. So that's why I have no makeup on and I've just pulled my hair back, like... And I was out and about like this because I literally had to get in the car and just get to the doctors. I was only eight minutes uh, late. I don't know how I did that. So I did that. Then the doctor accidentally sent my prescription over to the other doctors. So I had to go over to that one. Then I, try then I tried to get my nephew's prescription, but then it wasn't there. At a different pharmacy and oh my lord. Then I went to be Nana's and that's when I spoke to you. 
me and her went for an hour and a half walk i cannot walk for an hour and a half but i really want to go with her and i know she's like that i know she goes for big walks i mean nana's very fit she has two uh, hip replacement so we call her robo nana honestly she's she's just crazy she walks fast as well like it wasn't a stroll for like it was more like an hour 10 let's be honest it was like an hour 10 so it, it's not like a stroll it's like it's walking with the two dogs so it's lovely because i get to see me nana and i used to walk them all the time when i lived with her a few years ago but honestly i was so knackered and then the doctors rang us and i had to fill out a form so I had to go back to the doctors and then I had a hospital appointment and then I left you guys, the camera, at my nana's and I had to go back to my nana's. Oh my lord. So I've been out since about, I don't know, 10 to 9 this morning and I've just got back and I've just been constantly doing something and it's like 3 o'clock now, maybe after, I'm not sure. So that was why you kind of got a slip of me at my nana's and then nothing, I think walking the dogs and then here. Obviously I can't take you into the doctors and things. Um, but yeah, don't worry, like everything's normal. It's just like my normal kind of doctor's appointments and things. So that is basically what's happened today. I told you it was going to be, be, be a busy one. That amount of like out and about and driving normally knackers me anyway. Never mind with a, oh, a hefty walk on top of it. I mean, I had a lovely walk with banana. It's a lovely day. Uh, I just can't keep my eyes open. And I have so much to do. Like my shop's launching in two days. I have so many videos that need recording at the minute because I'm collaborating with companies. So I can't just do them when I want to do them. I need to do them by certain dates and things. Um, I've got some cool videos coming, guys. Honestly, you're going to love them. And then um, oh, I've just I've just got so much to do. I'm not complaining. I love my life. I'm, I know I'm privileged that I get to work from home, especially with my MA. But I'm very busy and I'm very tired. So I thought we would sit down, have a little chill and really look at this Mrs. Potts that my auntie picked up for me. Um, yeah, I, like, I'm like i lucky that you guys are amazing on Instagram. You guys tell me when things come into Primark now that I'm not at uni. When I was at uni, I was able to get the things because I was in pretty much every day. Whereas now I have to drive all the way through to Newcastle. Um, and I don't want to do that every day because one petrol and two parking is expensive in Newcastle. So, and then say like I can't spend every day doing that on the hope that something might be released. So now I go on Instagram on the morning, I get up early when Matthew gets up for work, go straight into Instagram, and then you guys are great, and you're like, tell me when things are hitting stores. And the other day someone messaged me and they were like, Mrs. Potts, she's in Newcastle right now. And then I'm really lucky that my auntie works in Newcastle. So on her way into work, I always message her, hopefully on time, and then she'll pick up the things in the Primark. So that's how I'm able to get my things at the minute. Thank you, Auntie Lynn. She also watches my vlogs. Hi, Auntie Lynn. And then if she doesn't happen to be in work that day or whatever, then you guys are great as well. I'll post it on my story and say, can anyone pick this up for me? And you guys are honestly amazing. So I'm really lucky with the Primark things at the minute. I'm managing to get a lot of things. Haven't been so lucky with the Harry Potter things. There's a lot of Harry Potter things I want, but I think that's just because they're sold out everywhere. Like, it's not just a, a case of me not being able to get them in my store. Like, nobody can get the things I'm really after at the minute, really. Like, I haven't seen many people with the headwig cushions apart from people in London. The Slytherin hoodies sold out everywhere, like, so quickly. But anywho, my point is, my Auntie Lynn got me the Mrs. Teapots, Mrs. Teapots? The Mrs. Potts Teapot. And I just went and picked it up for me Nana's. So let's have a look at it. Come on, Mrs. Potts. She also got me, my auntie, bless her, she's lovely. She got me some pink lemonade um, Rin Rington's tea bags, which I will try. Um, even though I absolutely love tea, sometimes I just, like, I don't really like fruit teas. Matthew loves these sort of things, or Matthew doesn't really like tea, he likes fruit teas. So I'm a big tea person, but English tea, like black tea with like soy milk or almond milk in like i don't really drink flavored teas it's just not fulfilling enough but these sound nice pink lemonade so i will definitely be giving them a try thanks auntie lynn otherwise matthew will definitely have them and then she also got me this fairy door which if any of you have been watching a while you'll know that i have this fairy door in my sitting room already bless her she obviously knows what i like but um yeah i'll just put that in another room because it's still really cool because i obviously like it i already have it it's just a fairy door i don't know where my auntie lynn got hers but if it's where I got it from, it's from Home Bargain and it's, and it's like 99p. Is that even picking it up? There we go. Just a fairy door. It's like 99p in Home Bargains or something. And then, yeah, this. Look how big it is. It is hefty. 
I tell you that now, it's a good size teapot. I have genuinely been wanting a good size teapot. I've probably mentioned this before. Um, even though I love tea, I don't actually have, I have one teapot and it's my Alice in Wonderland one, which I'll actually go and get in a second and show you. Um, I have an Alice in Wonderland three spout teapot from Disneyland Paris last year when I went. So that haul is up in vlogs if anyone hasn't seen them. It was on my old camera though, so the quality is not bad or anything, it's just not as epic as this camera. So yeah, um, I've just been wanting a new teapot. Um, I have my strainers at the minute, you guys know if you watch my like haul videos that I have like a coffee strainer that I drink my tea out of because I drink tea leaves now. Tea bags just aren't really strong enough for me, I'm, I'm hardcore tea me. Um, so yeah, I need to get a tea leaves strainer for teapots. Um, and then I can be using my teapot because when I'm writing blog posts and editing, I kind of would like a, a big teapot so I can have multiple cups of tea. I did get that big coffee strainer that I showed you last week um, for my tea and that's cool too. But I also kind of want teapots and things because it's just, it's just a bit more me. But uh, she's heavy, I'll tell you that. This is, a lot of the, the problem is a lot of teapots that, these days are like, they're either really expensive or they're small and it's like, I want a good cup, a few cups of tea out of this. And she will definitely do two good sized cups of tea with my like proper favourite cups that I use. Which I get like a full good sized cup of tea out of. That made no sense. So here she is. This is the Mrs Potts teapot from Primark. She's £12. She's like ceramic? Porcelain? Ceramic? Um, not suitable for microwave. Hand wash only. So yeah, um, whatever that material is. That's what she is. Um, so the lid comes off and everything. And then she's got like a little cardboard thing on there just for obviously transporting her. And then she's quite hefty. She's hefty. She's lovely like. She's really nice. And a nice big gold handle. Yeah, she's just really, really nice. Um, now, me Nana was saying that I shouldn't use her because I should display her because she'll be worth a lot one day. And I was like, I know but she's mine. She's part of my collection. The camera's dying, so I'm probably going to have to change that in a second. But don't worry, I will change it. So yeah, I just kind of feel like I'm going to use her because I wanted a teapot. And I know I'll get a lot of use out of that. And my Beauty and the Beast section on my display is quite full at the minute. I still haven't even fitted in the Mrs. Potts uh, money bank. So I already have a slightly smaller version of this that's a money bank. So I'm going to display the money bank and I'm actually going to use this. I just think it'll be better. She's not taking up space. I'm actually using her. And I just think it's really cute. And I love my chip cup that I actually use from Disney Store. So I'm going to use them together. She obviously would be cuter with the Primark chip cup. But he's just not big enough to have a cup of tea out of. It's £12 from Primark. Um, it was two per customer. Uh, I don't really know if she's particularly available anymore at the minute. They'll keep releasing it. They'll keep restocking it. Of course they will. They always do with everything. Um, a lot of the purses that people have been after. They've been like restocked in all the stores. When I've been in them recently. And there's been like loads of them and things. I don't know why I'm doing this. But um, yeah. So I'm really really happy with that. She's really big. So I'll go and get my other teapot and show you it. Um, I did use it at first when I got it from Disneyland. And then I started just displaying it. Because it's not very big. And I'll get the Mrs. Potts money box as well. And I'll give you a size comparison but I'll change the battery and then I'll show you those okay so I don't know if the angles changed very much but so I went and got the Mrs Potts money box and the chip cup from Primark to put them next to each other to see what they look like here's the Mrs Potts teapot uh, she was 12 and then here's the Mrs Potts money box which was 8 so that is the difference in size can you see that it's just going to focus on my stupid face isn't it there we go. There we go. That's the difference in size. So she's a money box. Her artwork's a little bit nicer, which to be honest, when you paint 12, it's it's better that she looks nicer. They look both look lo stop focusing on my face. They both look lovely to be fair. I'm trying to keep my face out of the way because it keeps focusing on my face. Yeah, so that is the difference basically. So she's a money box. She was eight. Her colours are a lot more bold and bright. Like, um, sh her, she's just a lot more muted. I mean, I suppose for £12, though, she should be nicer. So, she was the £12 one. And this is the Mrs Potts with the Primark chip cup. So, that is the size comparison. Stop focusing on my face. There we go. That's how big 
Chip is or Mrs. Potts is with Chip. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So yeah, he's too small to drink out of, but I will be using her as a teapot. I'm just going to display the money box with Chip. Um, just because I want to use the teapot and I don't use him. My teapot I got from Disneyland Paris when I went in September last year. So as I was saying, there's a Disneyland Paris merchandise haul up from September last year if you haven't seen it. And vlogs if anyone hasn't seen them. Because loads of people were messaging me saying that they were gutted when my vlogs finished. And they wanted me to do another merchandise haul even though I haven't been to Paris again. Uh, which is lovely, thank you. And I was telling people, you know, I already have vlogs up from last September. Uh, which is crazy because that's actually a year now. Wow, okay, I didn't realise it was that long ago. But yeah, I had um, I had vlogs up from last September and a merchandise haul from last September. And um, a lot of people didn't know. So, if you want more vlogs, then go and check out my vlogs from last year. They're pretty similar to the ones that I just had, except a different camera. So, yeah. When I went to Paris last year, I got myself two, like, main things. Um, like, more expensive pieces. And one is a... Aurora musical figurine who's on my display you've probably seen her if you did watch my haul videos and then the other thing was this teapot so it's got like can you see that three spouts but only the middle one actually pours tea out of it so I'll give you a close-up just in case anyone hasn't seen this I really need to take more pictures of my merchandise and put them like my collection I should say and put them on my Instagram more because I don't like feel like I do but when you see them yourself every day you forget that some people might have just started following you and haven't like seen this. I know that sounds stupid, but like, I don't know. So it's got like three spouts. It's just the middle one that works. It's got Alice on that side. And it's got the Mad Hatter on that side with the, the mousey. And this was quite expensive. Um, Well, it wasn't, oh, there we go. It wasn't really expensive or anything, but it was like one of my two main purchases for myself. Oh, she needs a bit of a clean. I need to go through my collection and display it all properly and loads of people keep asking me to do um a collection disney collection like video but i honestly don't even know how i would record it because i have stuff in every room would it be good like i feel like i do want to do that video so i may as well ask you guys now would it be okay when i do my disney collection video if i just go through every room of my house and show you it as I go and just hold the camera at the stuff and just speak do you know what I mean um, and just be like okay so now we're in my room here's my pictures and like show you them here's like stuff on the bedside table and show you there's my mini ears and then go into the other room and like go through all my shelves and then go in to the sitting room and go through like the artwork in there that's Disney and yeah, would that be okay? Because it will be a long video and it saves me having to put everything into one room and holding them up and like talking about it like a whole kind of video. What do you think? Let me know. So it won't be a house tour. It will just be the Disney stuff around my house and I'll show you it as I go, if that makes sense. And I feel bad because it's like, in a way it could be like a house tour, but I'm not ready to do a house tour. So as I go into the rooms, I would just be like, okay, now I'm in my bedroom. These are the paintings on my wall in my bedroom. These are, yeah, I just feel like a lot of people will be like, oh, can we have like proper views of the room? But honestly, my house is not in a state now where I want to do like a house tour. So then it makes me feel like maybe I should wait to do the house tour when I have the house the way I want it, which could be a long time. Or maybe I should just gather everything into the other room and like show it as I go. Oh, I don't know. Let me know how you think I should do my Disney collection video because it's my most requested video and yeah, I just feel like it'll take a long time to do. So I've got a lot of stuff to be getting on with right now. Um, I still have to do a lot of stuff to do with the company, like launching on Friday. Um, I have a lot of like videos and stuff to sort out. I kind of wanted to edit a video today, but that's not going to happen. It'll have to happen tomorrow. I've just got a lot to do, so I'm just going to get on with things at the computer for the next couple of hours and I'll probably get back to you guys tonight, but yeah. Once again, I'm not doing a lot of stuff that can really go on camera, so I apologise. But I just wanted to show you my Mrs. Potts because she's lovely. I'm going to go and get all my things in the other room, like do some blog stuff and sort things out for my company. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. So guys, since I last spoke to you, um, I literally, the tiredness hit me. I don't know if I said I was tired, I probably did. But I sat, I look tired, I look so bad. But um, I sat down on the bed and lay down for like half an hour. And I was like, I'm so tired like 
I don't think I can like make the dinner or anything and when I have a day off with Matthew so if Matthew's not at work I don't tend to do any tidying up because I just want to hang out with Matthew so I didn't do any dishes yesterday and um, so the dishes were like across the bench I don't understand when there's two people in the house how that can happen in one day so I lay down for half an hour and as it were I'm gonna go down the stairs and see the mess and maybe just make myself a cup of tea and then get in the bath and I went down and I was like even if I ask Matthew to make the dinner and we just don't tidy up tonight he can't make the dinner because the kitchen's a mess and the dishes need doing so I somehow mustered the energy to do the dishes and do a tiny bit of like just tidying moving things out the way that have just been placed somewhere so downstairs doesn't actually look too bad and then Matthew came home and now I'm actually exhausted I'm even out of breath I'm that tired so I'm gonna get in the bath Matthew's making the dinner and then I'm gonna lie in bed and try and do things on my Etsy <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have put that the store was opening on Friday because now I just have tonight tomorrow and then Friday so hopefully it'll be okay there's still a few things I wanted to get um, at the shops to put in the boxes with the jewellery when I send them out but I don't know if I'm gonna have time now because tomorrow's Thursday and then Friday you know the store opens so I don't know but it's all good it's all fine all the bracelets are ready to go the packaging's ready to go so I just need to finish the Etsy so I'm gonna get myself in the bath and I don't even have any nice bubblies or lush bath bombs or anything which is a shame because I feel like I need one but I'm gonna have a bath and then I'm literally just getting into bed and chilling so if anything happens I will get back to you but otherwise that's kind of what's happening just because that's what's happening I feel really bad as well because I always say like oh I'm not doing anything and it's boring but at the same time I get told off every week for saying sorry it's boring so I can't say it but you get the idea so I'm gonna film myself a bath what are you doing are you playing that's not playing that's being naughty. What are you doing? Can you not get in? Go on, you can work it out. You know how to get under there. <laughs> Come on. Try harder. There you go. No? All that and then you haven't even gone under. What are you like? I am an absolute mess. I've been at the computer 14 hours today, about, just under, um, 13 hours at the least. Um, it's Thursday, so it is the next day. Um, I love it how I say that because sometimes it's not, but it is the next day. Um, it's actually like, is it 9 o'clock? It's like 9 o'clock. Um, I got to the computer this morning at about 7 o'clock. Um, I got up when Matthew went out to work and I've been at the computer till about five minutes ago. I've just gone into the bathroom to try and like freshen my face up because my eyes from staring at the computer all day. I've been d literally sat at the computer like there was nothing I could show you, like there was nothing I could do. Like I think that's the longest I've sat at the computer all day. I've edited a video and got it up and it goes up, it went up about 40 minutes ago so it's a pound land haul so go and check that out if you haven't already uh, so I got a video edited today, today, today and put up my Etsy store is completely ready to go for tomorrow it's exciting apart from the fact that while I was in the bathroom I realized two things that I haven't done today but it'll take me 10 minutes tomorrow so I just need to quickly do those in the morning and then it's ready but basically it's ready like I got everything done and then I have a lot of videos coming up that are like collaborations with companies over the next couple of weeks so I have deadlines so I really needed to make sure I was recording and editing on certain days so that videos are going up on certain days because I don't want to upset anyone and yeah I had to make myself a schedule so I am all scheduled up until the end of September no joke and that's not even including all the videos that I want to record that's just my schedule to work with other companies so and that doesn't involve time in between for a few things like that I would normally do like I don't know I don't know it, it's gonna be busy I'm gonna I'm gonna have to try and I've scheduled all my stuff for the company so that's all good and then my business obviously is something that yeah it's all in my head I'm all good I've scheduled in a couple of videos that are like my normal ones like my Disney hauls I've got a few pre-recorded ones and then I've got some time at the month to do like the monthly favorite <laughs> It's all scheduled, it's all good. I'm not gonna leave anything out for you guys just because I'm working with companies. Everything is scheduled and done. Uh, I've got some days, I've got like the odd like evening off with Matthew. I've got like a few th things planned where I can maybe do a blog post. Like, it's all in there. 
but it means I'm booked up to the end of September and I haven't even put everything in that I would like but yeah I can't explain but I'm scheduled I'm set up for tomorrow and I've got a video up took 14 hours but we got there I'm so unbelievably tired. I haven't eaten properly today. I haven't meditated in a few days. I don't have a headache or anything. I'm excited for tomorrow, but I really need some time now to just sit and do nothing. So I'm gonna go downstairs and make some tea. It's Matthew's late night tonight. That's why he's not already home because he would have made the tea if he was. So I'm gonna go and make the tea. He'll be home, probably not for another hour. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna make some tea. I think I'm gonna make spaghetti. And then he's probably gonna be home. And then I'm probably just gonna go to bed because I have two videos scheduled to record tomorrow, an Instagram photo that needs doing, and then my store launches at six o'clock. And Matthew wants to go to the cinema tomorrow night and see it, which I really want to do, but I don't know if I should be in the cinema if people are messaging me the first night that my store goes up. I don't want to not be replying to messages. So I don't know if we're going to the cinema. I don't think I have time, but you know, we can see it any day, it's fine. Um, I'd rather my stall went well, like went all to plan and smoothly. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and make food, guys. Um, I'll take you with me downstairs, but it's not gonna be very interesting. And then we're probably gonna go to bed because we've got a long, long day tomorrow. But hey, if my life wasn't like this, I'd be bored. <laughs> yum, 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 yum in my tum dum. Feed me. Literally the only reason I have the energy of making this right now is because yes the mind and the eyes are boggled like mentally from being at the computer but I've been sat down all day so my body's not too bad. I mean my shoulders and back are a bit hurty because I have been like slunched over a little bit. Slunched? You know what I mean? So I'm just making like a spaghetti thing and I make loads because then Matthew has the rest when he gets in. Uh, and Matthew eats a lot of food so I'm just gonna carry on making this. And then I'm gonna sit down and eat because I need to chill. Does this not look beautiful? I'm gonna sit down and watch the other, the other? The other Berlin girl. Yes, the other Berlin girl and have my tea. And then I'll probably just be going to bed after that. So I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Good night. So my computer might be an absolute mess, but how amazing is my screensaver? I'm sure I've shown you it before. And no, it's not my picture. It's, um, it's Disneyland Paris. I want to say last Christmas, but I could be wrong. By the way, it's Friday. Hey, guys. Uh, I uh, slept in badly today. I stayed up ridiculously late, just chilling. Um, physically, I wasn't tired because I'd been sat down all day. But mentally, I was, like, drained from being at the computer, like, 14 hours. So by the time I made tea and uh, Matthew got in and then he went up to bed, I watched the other Billing Girl, which is like an amazing movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I wonder how historically accurate that is. It really makes me want to look into it every time like I watch that movie. Like I love history. But anyway, so yeah, I stayed up till one o'clock last night. So I woke up this morning, like I usually do, when Matthew went out to work. How messy is my desk, by the way? Yeah, when Matthew went out to work and I was like, um, I was like, right, I need to get up. I've got lots of stuff to do. We can get it all done. And then I just couldn't really get up. And then all of a sudden I woke up and it was half 11. I cannot remember the last time I slept in till half 11. I am not happy about it. My head's like kind of trying to get a headache as well because I've slept in and it's like, I have too much to do. So it's currently now coming up two o'clock. Um, I had to chill for a good hour or so before I came up and did work. Just, I was like, I can't go straight into it. Um, so I had breakfast, watched a tiny bit of YouTube, and now I'm gonna get on with some stuff on my Etsy. And then if I've got time, I, I, the plan was today to record YouTube videos. So anyway, I'll get back to you guys in a bit because I'm mega busy, but they say that geniuses have like messy desks. So that's what I'm gonna blame this on. <laughs> Can't believe my store opens in like four hours. Ah, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So hey guys, it is much later in the day. I must apologize. Um, I was literally at the computer all day. I didn't even do any filming today, which I thought I was gonna do because I just wanted to make sure that Etsy was like perfect. And there was a few things that I thought of during the night that I wanted to do today to the store. So I've done all of the stuff to the store that I wanted to do. And then I, I decided I couldn't film because I needed to be at the computer for six o'clock because that's when the shop was opening. And it was about four o'clock when I finished setting up the Etsy, like when everything was done. So I couldn't really film. So I thought I'm gonna chill. So I had a bath and then after my bath I thought actually what I should really do is do a live feed and see if anyone has any last minute questions. And I ended up doing the live feed at 20 to six and the shop was opening at six. So two minutes before the shop was opening, I ended the live feed and then I opened the shop and then for the last hour it's just been crazy. 
so I'm sorry I didn't even speak to you when the shop opened I thought I was gonna do like a little countdown I feel really bad but I had to do stuff to make sure it was gonna be okay I've been replying to people's messages like sorting out the orders because luckily orders have been coming through I can't believe it people have actually bought stuff I'm so grateful and thank you so much if you've ordered or even if you just checked out my store loads of people have already messaged me saying that they're gonna order on when they get paid four of the bracelets have completely sold out um, I've had pre-orders like it's going really good and it's only been up just over an hour now so thank you so much it's gone amazingly I'm so happy Matthew's really thrilled as well he's going to make me a special dinner he's going to make me nachos and it's going to be good so it's kind of calming down on the questions front now so I'm going to go downstairs and I'll just take my tablet with me in case anybody asks us anything and I'm just going to go downstairs and watch a movie with Matthew and chill um, and then just have my phone on me in case in case I need need to do anything on the Etsy but it went really well everything's good I can chill so I'm gonna set up some of the orders tomorrow and send them out probably on Monday and then um I'll get filming tomorrow so I'm really really sorry this week's probably not been very I, f I feel bad as well I literally even forgot about vlogging it was that busy it was like two minutes when I was finishing the live feed to like on Instagram I did live feed and it was two minutes until the shop opened and I was I was yeah I needed to get the link up in the bio I think well over like 1,500 people have been on the shop in the last hour um, according to my statistics which it seems to be a little bit behind but still that's blooming I can't believe that so thank you so much if you've been on the store if you've looked at it if you've bought something thank you and more will be coming I'm going to stock some more I've already got the Halloween bracelets um, ordered they're coming I can't wait the Christmas ones aren't ordered yet but I've designed them I can't wait for the Christmas ones the Christmas ones are kind of exciting me a lot but um I can't wait for the Halloween ones as well, so yeah. Anyway, let's go downstairs and see uh, if we can get some nachos and chill out for a bit because it's been a hectic few days. Are you proud of me? Yeah. <laughs> Don't record me. Don't record you, why not? Because. Because what? Because. These are not new pyjamas, I just don't wear them very much because of the material. They're hot in the summer, but now it's kind of cold and wintry, so... Silky. These are my most expensive Primark pajamas. They feel like quality. Yeah, they were fourteen pound. <laughs> are we gonna have nachos? Um, yes. You gonna make, make me nachos? Make me fajitas? What else do you want? Fajitas. Fajitas and nachos. I'm excited. It's like the perfect dinner. I'm looking up there at you, but I should be looking at the camera. <laughs> should we make uh, some food? The mouse. <gasps> the mouse. Where? The mouse is here, guys. I showed the mouse last week on the vlog. Briefly. But he was quick. Mr. Mousey. We should give him a name. There he is. No, that's the bone. Where's the bone? <laughs> we need to put this barbecue stuff away, Matthew. It's clearly not barbecue season anymore. Listen, he's so cute. Bun's having his dinner as well. Do you think he's friends with the mousey? Give me these nachos. Or shall I say wraps? Fajitas. Mm. I'm just gonna watch the Lord of the Rings and eat some food. Morning guys, it's actually the next day. Oh, I'm really cold. Oh, I've had the balcony doors open like I normally do and it's definitely autumn. It's a bit too cold to have the doors open which is a shame because I really like doing it. Oh my god, when did this happen? I feel like we just dyed my roots like seriously when did the roots happen oh my god anyway I didn't record anymore last night because me and Matthew sat down 
and had fajitas and nachos and it was amazing and he made me a special dinner for opening my store bless him thank you matthew he watches my vlog so i already thanked him obviously i was like you know this is amazing and um, because it was i love fajitas and i love nachos it's the best dinner ever i even think i love it more than pizza like i don't really like have a lot of pizza anymore pizza used to be one of my favorite things but i'm really in love with fajitas right now hey bun what you doing i'm going to sniff in the balcony doors anywho that was random yeah so i was so like tired last night just from the last few days of trying to get the etsy ready and like the nerves and now he's licking the back door anyway um so yeah i think i was just a bit nervous and stuff and it just wiped me so we sat down and i think last week i mentioned that we watched lord of the rings extended um fellowship of the ring which we've seen all of them before but we watched one and then last night we started watching two towers and it's a four hour movie and i probably got to like two hours and i was like nope i just couldn't concentrate and i love those movies and like i love movie nights and eating good food and i ate the food but i just i don't know i wanted to keep getting on my store and having a look and i was tired and i don't know i was just a bit kind of like whoa so i came up to bed um bun what are you doing um yeah so i came up to bed really early and matthew stayed downstairs and watched the rest of it and I went to bed. So this morning, me and Matthew have had a really nice lie in. He's gone to the gym now because he's a weirdo. <laughs> no offense if you actually go to the gym, but I've done it in the past and stuff. But like, if I worked as much as Matthew did, I wouldn't spend my Saturday morning going to the gym. I like the gym, um, but not when you've been at work all week and then the first line you get, you go to the gym. That's why Matthew's weird. Anyway, so I'm going to do yeah, so basically I apologise for not recording any more last night. I feel really bad as well that I really just didn't involve the weekly vlog in the store opening. But it was just very busy and full on and I had to get everything ready and I did a live feed. Oh, and it was crazy but it was so good. If you went onto my store or if you bought anything or just if you've had a look or if you're planning on buying one. Then thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate that it went so well five types of bracelets that have sold out and I've had a lot of people messaging me saying that when they get paid they're going to order them so just to let you know that if you are after one try and get it as soon as you can just because I don't want people to be disappointed Um, I can't guarantee I can get them in Um, but I'm taking pre-orders and if there is a bracelet that you want hey bun that you can't get on the site and there isn't a pre-order available for it on my store then just message me and I will try my best to get it for you and I think a lot of people are thinking they can get them when they get paid and I'm just worried that people might not be able to. So anyway, thank you for everyone that went on my store. It went amazingly. I feel very privileged today. And I'm definitely going to be treating myself to something, hopefully, very soon. So basically, the plan is today is because I didn't film at all yesterday, I've made myself a schedule and I need to film some um, YouTube videos for two companies within the next, well, today or tomorrow, basically. Um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna fill them tomorrow and um, even though matthew's off today and tomorrow i'm gonna fill them tomorrow because the shops aren't open as long on a sunday and today i'm gonna take the day off with matthew so i'm gonna do all my filming tomorrow and today me and matthew are gonna have a day off so he's gone to the gym i've got my new pink yoga mat woohoo um, I'm going to do some yoga now and have a meditate. I've just been sat on my phone in bed. Matthew brought me my breakfast up. Uh, we had breakfast in bed and I'm just having a really nice chill day and I just feel really happy and just great right now and I just really have you guys to thank for that. So thank you so much. And yeah, I'm going to do some yoga, meditate. I'm going to get ready and then me and Matthew are going to Metro Centre and the Christmas decorations are out in Disney Store. So I will show you them and I'm planning i think on getting one it is a saturday so i'm expecting it to be busy and um, primark had their disney and harry potter christmas decorations out yesterday if you didn't know um i found out but obviously i couldn't go through newcastle because i had the store opening and the chip cushion cushions were released in store yesterday as well and they sold out by the time i found out because i was so busy with the store um and i told my auntie who works in newcastle and normally goes in before the store opens they had sold out by the time she went after work when i like told her so um yeah i didn't get any of the disney or harry potter baubles i'll be honest i'm only after two of them i'm after the harry potter crest one not the nine and three quarter one and i'm after the beauty and the beast gold mrs potts one possibly the one full of roses with bell on it says tale as old as time but i'm not 
too fussed because sometimes I think those baubles they look really lovely and they're full of like confetti and petals but when they're sat on the tree they don't move if they were full of liquid then they would do you know what I mean anyway so I'm actually only after two of the five pound each I think the cushions are I want to say six but I'm not sure so anyway if you're after them they're in stores now but they sold out in my local I'll check Metro today but I know for a fact they'll be sold out so anyway we're just gonna go shopping go Metro get some food I might treat myself to a Disney like Disney store bauble um now that they're out that's the point i was trying to get to i want to try and treat myself to a disney store bauble i think i'm wanting the buzz light you won when he's in the rocket with the aliens but i'm not sure anyway i'm blabbing and i need to get on with this meditation stuff because matthew will be home soon and i don't want to like be late for going to the shops because later on and we're going to go and see the new it movie which i'm very excited about so i'm gonna do some yoga meditate get myself ready and then we're gonna go shopping and i'm gonna show you as much as i can because I feel like this vlog's been a bit boring. And then tomorrow I'm filming. But anyway, I'm going to get on with things. And I will get back to you guys in a little bit. We've just gotten to Metro. We're just looking for a space. And um, I did speak to you this morning. It was just before I meditated. I had a very, very good meditation um, and yoga session. I had about 30 minutes of yoga. And then... Oh my god, there's a Mawa giant jumpy thing. I don't know if I can show you. Mawa. I downloaded a meditation app that you guys have recommended to me so thank you for that and it was really really good um, I think I understand meditation like properly a little bit better now so we did I did 30 minutes of yoga 10 minutes about of meditation it was really good and then we got ready Matthew got his phone stuck down the radiator that was a task and a half but we got it out it perfectly fit behind the radiator it was bizarre and then um, we quickly went to my sister's and seen my nephew for maybe 30 minutes um, and we've just come through to Metro now and it's very busy we were just seeing how quiet the A1 was and then all of a sudden Metro is just crazy so the shops are only open for about another just under three hours but there's only a few stores I really want to go in I don't know if anyone's actually meeting us now I think it might just be me and Matthew um, so we'll probably just do a bit of shopping I think we want to go to ooh, the pizza place that me and my sister have been to and then um i think we're gonna see it still even if it is just me and matthew because me and matthew want to see it we found a space so we're gonna go in now reverse <laughs>
to do. <laughs> Can we sit with the light on tonight? <laughs> We've just been and seen the new It movie, which if you ever go to Audion, by the way, they always pretty much have posters for the release of a new movie and they never advertise it, they never hand them out but you'll see them at the tickety bit and uh, I always like look for them and ask for them and they're free you just ask for one and they give you them I knew he would give us one when I asked for them I've got loads of them I'll have to show you them in my spare room one time just all over the walls but anywho um, we've just come out of seeing it do you want to go in the arcade for a bit? yeah, yeah. we've just been out of uh, come out of seeing it for a little for a little bit Oh my god, we've just come out seeing it and I think we both agree that it's better than the original, isn't it Matthew? Yeah, definitely, of course better. Better than the original. It was really scary. It was really good. There was no parts when it was a bit like, that's stupid. Like, it kept being scary. And we're in the arcade now, so I'll catch up with you later because it's quite loud in here. it is actually the next day so i definitely got back to you last night after the cinema um and then it was just really loud when we went when, when we went to the arcade so um i went on one thing which i think matthew recorded i love that um piano or like arcade game it's so much fun and then we were both so unbelievably tired we came home got straight into bed and we slept in till about 10 past 11 i want to say which is terrible because it's the second time this week that i've done that so if I stay up past 12, that's what happens, but we really wanted to see that movie and we ended up seeing like an 8 o'clock show and so by the time the adverts and then it was on and then we got home, yeah, it was like after 12, so crazy, but if you like the original It movie, I definitely recommend that you go and see the new one or if you just like horror movies and you haven't seen them, you don't need to see the original to see this one. I think it's good though to do that because then you can like put them in your head, like what's different and what's the same and honestly, I've heard quite a few people say that they like this one like the new one more than the old one and I agree I like the new one more than the old one which is very rare for me because I prefer classics like the Freddy Kruegers I prefer them like the older ones I don't know what my hair is doing it needs tied back properly I also need to dye my roots but never mind uh, so yeah I prefer the um classic movies usually but there was just something about this one they did it so well and the thing with like it the clown it's like freaky things are scarier to me than like gore and stuff so old movies are quite freaky because they are not badly done but they obviously had less cgi and stuff like that on how they do things these days so i feel like they were freakier because they were slightly like lower budget if that makes sense so like the old freddy krueger is freakier than the new one because the new one literally just looks like a burn victim do you know what i mean like that's not scary like some people do get burned so yeah i find that the classics are scarier basically um but with this one it was it was scary it was scary um there wasn't any times when i when i really really jumped out my skin like oh my lord but because i've seen the original so i kind of knew when things were going to happen if that makes sense and of course i was closing my eyes every now and then but i didn't miss anything and um, i didn't like hide my eyes like i watched it it was good it was scary and i managed to sleep last night so that's a miracle so yeah we watched that then we went to the arcade and then we were just so tired when we got back that we went to sleep so i apologize i didn't finish recording but i've gotten up today um me and matthew had a few hours where i was just kind of waking myself up because sleeping in makes me feel pretty groggy and craftastic then he's gone around his parents and i have to do recording today like i have to i don't like doing that when matthew is off i'd rather spend the day with matthew but i got to spend the morning with him and obviously i'm gonna get to spend the evening with him so i'm just gonna do some recording that i didn't get to do on friday because the store opened and then yesterday we were out all day and spent the day together i had a really good day yesterday as well actually what was weird is that i bumped into 
to Rasheen, who was Disney find, um, and I finally met her husband Gareth, and she had her two sons with her who I have met, so that was really cool. I normally bump her to, with her. I normally bump into Rasheen in Newcastle, so it was weird that I bumped into Rasheen in Metro Centre. I didn't even see her. I was getting my camera out to vlog Disney Store for you guys, and um, she was obviously coming out when I was going into Disney Store, and yeah, she shouted with me, so I was speaking to Rasheen, which was lovely, because we keep saying that we need to catch up, and I just... I'm busy and she's busy and she's gone back to work I know so so it was nice to see Rasheen again and just quickly catch up and I think we're definitely going to try and go for coffee this week we said well I'll have a cup of tea she'll have coffee um or hopefully at least in the next few weeks because I am pretty busy but I do want to see her and then I also seen my mum and dad which was crazy um I didn't even see them again Matthew seen them as soon as we walked in they must have just got there as well and they parked in the same car park which was the yellow car park and yeah um my mum and dad was stood at the bottom of the escalator of the cinema and I was like Matthew was like, isn't that your parents? I was like, what? And they had my little brother with them, so we spoke to them for 10 minutes or so. But they were going to, like, different shops and things. Has that been out of focus this whole time? I apologise if it has. It's been really weird. But anywho, so yeah, yesterday was really nice. I trekked myself to one Disney Christmas ornament from Disney Store. But I've just got myself ready. I stuck some stars on my face. Yep, that's normal. So I'm going to, um record some videos. I asked on Twitter if people wanted to see um, a wig re like review and application like how I apply my wigs and people said yes so I'm going to do that today and I'm also going to do my Disney haul which is going to go up on Wednesday so when you watch this my Disney haul will be going up on Wednesday. So I'm just going to go and you know sort my hair out get a t-shirt on I've done my makeup and then I'm going to start recording so I've got two videos to do and I have to do an Instagram picture today. It's not a very nice day I don't know if you can tell but it's very dark and dank so I'm gonna have to get my lights up when I take me photo. But yeah, I'm just kind of getting on with things. I unfortunately didn't have time to meditate or do any yoga a day. Matthew did though, he did that while I was getting ready. Um, he doesn't meditate, but he does do yoga. So yeah, kind of having like a half chilled, half not day. Getting on with things, but also chilled a little bit with Matthew. So I'm gonna get these two videos done. So I'm gonna get on with these videos and I'll get you a bit here. I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Ugh, really? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's like nine o'clock. I cannot believe, I, I look really yellow. I cannot believe I've been doing videos and for like one, like Instagram photo all day. Like, I thought I would spend more time with Matthew this evening. I'm a bit annoyed, like, but that's how long it took me to do everything. It's nearly nine o'clock now, so it's okay. We've got stuff done. It's just very late in the day. Matthew Blessum is making the tea. Um, we're having a Sunday dinner, so I've just got my pyjamas back on. I'm just going to leave my makeup on until I go to bed. I can't be bothered to take it off. And yeah, I'm going to go downstairs and see what Matthew's up to. In here's a tip. The spare room is a tip. Off doing the haul. Like, there's wigs everywhere that need put away. I've got so much to do tomorrow. I think what I'll do is I'll do first thing in the morning is I'll package up all the people's bracelets that have bought bracelets thank you so much for that like people are still buying bracelets it's amazing so i think tomorrow first thing in the morning i'll package up the bracelets and go straight to the post office and then i think i'll edit the weekly vlog and then i'll probably be pretty knackered so i'll probably have to leave the tidy until tuesday when i'm also editing so i'm quite busy and blah but we're getting things done so it's okay anyway i am um, I'm going to nip downstairs and see what Matthew's up to, so let's go and see if he's making us a nice... Well, he's, he's making me a nice dinner. I look like a picture, but never mind. Um, it's now 10 past 11, so it's quite late and I'm very, very tired. I think my makeup's like running down my face as well. Um, but yeah, it's really late. Um, me and Matthew had tea and then we were just sat watching... Um, Lord of the Rings. It turns out Matthew didn't watch the end of it the other day. So I've just tried to watch the end of it, but we still have like another hour left. And it's such a long movie. But anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed now, which means it's the end of the weekly vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. Um, it's been a bit of a weird one, a bit of a busy week for me. And um, thank you to everyone that looked at my Etsy store or bought anything off my Etsy store. Uh, if you haven't already, go and check it out. And honestly, the support has been amazing. So thank you guys so much. And yeah, I'm sorry if it was a bit hectic and missed a few things out, but it's, I've just been really busy and I've got a busy few weeks ahead of me as well. I've got a lot to do tomorrow, so I doubt I'll film tomorrow. So next week's week vlog will probably start on Tuesday. But anyway, I'm going to go. So I will see you guys in my next video. Disney Hall is on Wednesday. It's already recorded. I recorded it today. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching this week. See you next time. Bye, guys.